I'm uh, CCP Rise. I'm Steve Clark. I'm a game designer here uh, for CCP on EVE Online. With Corals coming out soon, what can players look forward to in this new release? Uh, the big thing people should be looking forward to is a complete rework of our industry system, which is kind of one of the core um, kind of engines in EVE Online. It uh, has to do with all the building and researching and um, yeah, all the construction of everything that exists in the world and we're basically overhauling the entire thing. So um, from everything or everything from the user experience of actually um, uh, building something in the interface to the underlying systems and the way a lot of them work is all getting redone. So that's, that's uh, probably the biggest thing but there's a lot of other stuff as well. We're doing a lot of foundational game improvements with uh, um, you know, things like information we present to players about all the game systems through tooltips. Um, we're adding some new ships, which is really exciting. Um, there's a lot there. If we could just take a moment to go into some more details on each of the things that would be changing, can you elaborate sure. on the ship balancing changes? Sure, so we're uh, doing a lot of rebalance work. We're adding, like I said, a lot of, uh, well, four new ships. Um, three for a new pirate faction called Mortis Legion which uh, is really exciting. Pirate factions are a really fun uh, kind of type of ship in the game and we're adding a, a new set of those so that's that's great and then alongside that we're rebalancing a bunch of ships related to industry and resource gathering so we're rebalancing mining barges, transport ships, freighters, we're adding a new mining ship um, and then um, we're also rebalancing all the other pirate factions. I kind of forgot about that. We're adding adding a new one but also rebalancing the uh, former five factions that, that already have pirate ships, so um, there's a, an enormous amount of balance work going into this release. Can you go into a little more detail about the space stations that players can build? Um, the outposts that I think uh, uh, Andy touched upon last night on the keynote. Mm -hmm. Well, a really, I mean, a really common um, point for players is that um, both star bases, which are player-built structures that sit in space, but you can't dock in them, they have a shield, and you can build things inside them. Um, those are one of our oldest systems, but they're really important to a lot of the core gameplay, and so we're making some adjustments to those now, but the long-term roadmap is to um, kind of redo that entire system in the same way we're redoing industry right now. So part of what Andy's saying is that we kind of have the intention in the future to take a look at the system overall and, and go back through and rebuild it in a way that's more fun for our players. And as for the release cycle, rather than the two expansions per year that's been happening, uh, you plan to move on to the six week cadence. Yeah. Um, wouldn't that put a lot of stress on the, de on the developers? No, it's actually uh, the biggest force behind moving to this cycle is to put less stress on the developers. Um, by moving to a six week cycle, the game gets releases every six weeks, but each development team is not does not have to release for each of those cycles. So um, in the past, we actually had stress for the kind of the reason I, I think you're thinking of, which is that everyone had to release every six months and some projects were either too short or too big to fit into that cycle and so it was really stressful for teams to try to make it fit into that window and now with the six week cycle the teams can do the work in the way that makes the most sense and then when the work is ready to be deployed it just moves into one of the six week releases so it actually ends up being a lot less stressful for us as developers it also means that i guess any defects will be addressed a lot quicker, quicker now than too. Exactly, and and uh, I mean we've always been able to uh, deal with some kinds of defects uh, relatively quickly, but um, there we do a lot of changes based on feedback or um, iterations after features go out. You know, we'll we'll release Chronos. Inevitably, there'll be you know something that needs to get tweaked about it, either something that we broke or something, some new opportunity we see because of the features gone out and players have gotten their hands on it. And yeah, we'll be able to turn that around and make those changes really quickly, which is really great.